Kit Gurus with Gigabyte at CES 2025, and we have a number of things to see. There's a certain amount of AI, but also we have AMD graphics. We have two of the new AMD graphics cards that AMD failed to announce a couple of days ago. We have the Radeon RX 9070 Gaming OC. It uses a wind force cooling system. Well, obviously, we can see the fans. It's not water force. But that's it in terms of specification. Nothing more to say. And to the right of that, Aorus Radeon RX 9070 XT Elite. Somewhat more angular in appearance, also using wind force cooling. But again, no specification. And obviously, not a hint of pricing. And then we move on to motherboards. B850 is budget AMD. I would imagine this board's priced around the, by I, 250, maybe 300 pounds. I'm going 250 by I. To the right of that, the B850 Aorus Elite Wi-Fi 7 ICE. Very similar, but white, obviously. Then we have a Mini ITX X870i Aorus Pro ICE. So that should be an existing model. And the same is true for X870 Gaming X Wi-Fi 7 and the X870 Eagle Wi-Fi 7. And down towards the end of the line, the X870e Aorus Pro ICE. Huge products with AI in the name, W790 AI Top. That's obviously a workstation motherboard powered by Intel. Next to that, TRX50 AI Top Threadripper. That looks brutal and industrial. I like it. Something curious next to that, Z890 Aorus Extreme AI Top. So that's running on Arrow Lake, but yet AI Extreme, and yet we seem to have, I'm gonna put my finger in and ruin the focus, an LCD, I'm guessing. I don't know what that is, and another LCD. And this, I mean, what is this? It looks like a workstation board that's got RGB, utterly extreme. And it's a similar story here. X870E, Aorus Extreme AI Top. It's like a workstation board powered by AMD. I don't know what Gigabyte's up to. They've got some fascinating products here. And last but not least, to the right, B850, so a budget AMD chipset on what looks like a full AMD motherboard. And it is B850 AI Top. And look at that text. Train your own AI on your desk. I mean, what? And jumping down, we have some workstation graphics cards, AMD powered. So on the right, the Radeon Pro W7900, 48 gigabyte. Next to that, the Pro W7800 AI Top. Are you getting an AI Top kind of vibe here? This is hysterically funny. It's an SSD, the AI Top 100E SSD, one terabyte for expanding your storage for AI-ness. And two power supplies, the UD1600 PM PG5 AI top. But what makes this AI? Well, it's got some connectors behind this piece of protective plastic. And down there we have two connectors for graphics cards. But that's not really very AI, is it? And similarly, the Aorus P1600 TM PG5, that looks somewhat like an LCD panel there, but it's not turned on so we can't be sure. And if we turn it, Let's move the card out of the way, make give Matt life. Move the card out of the way and give Matt an easier life. And we can see all the connection points. And up there, above my little finger, two connection points for graphics cards. Again, it's a fully featured power supply. It's highly rated, but AI? Hmm. We go past some pre-built systems, all AI themed naturally, Puget and System 76, and we come to monitors. QD OLED, these panels all by Samsung. So this is a 32 inch with a 165 hertz refresh. And we step up to the MO27Q2, 27 inch, QD OLED, 240 hertz refresh. I doubt the camera will do this justice, particularly under this lighting. By eye, that looks properly decent. Let's just move a little bit. Colors, absolutely lovely and amazingly responsive. Now this FO27Q5P claims to be the first Quad HD monitor with 500 hertz refresh, and it's also HDR True Black 500 certified. DisplayPort 2.1 and HDMI 2.1. End of the line, we have the Aorus FO32U2P. It's OLED, 32 inches, 240 hertz refresh. We've seen a fair few monitors like this. This has DisplayPort 2.1.
And we come to the graphics cards. Bottom right, we have the Aorus GeForce RTX 1590 Master, 16 gigabytes. Above that, we have the GeForce RTX 1590 Extreme Water Force, 32 gigabyte, with this hefty great big assembly attached by hoses to the large cooler for maximum cooling for your brand new $2,000 GPU. To the left, 5090 Extreme Water Force cooling block. Keep going across, Matt, go to the left. Moving down in size, GeForce RTX 5080 Aero OC, small form factor, 16 gigabyte. I mean, it's smaller. I'm not sure how small form factor that is, but when we move on to the RTX 5070 Eagle OC Ice, I would say that definitely qualifies as an SFF graphics card. Next to that, we have the RTX 5070 Master, which by eye I thought was quite small, but on second thoughts, does it come away? Turn it around. But now I turn it, I can see actually the cooler on that 5070 is rather chunky. So my eyes were deceiving me. No way is that a small form factor graphics card. And another 5070, this the gaming OC. So clearly very similar to the Master. Down front, we have the 5070 Eagle. And you may have noted by now, there are no 5070 Ti's in this room. We go across. 5080 Wind Force SFF. I'm going to turn this one around. I mean, it's quite slim. I can see it's compact enough to fit inside a relatively small case. But it's not tiny, is it? The RTX 5090 Gaming OC 32 gigabyte. I'm prepared to bet a certain sum of money Dominic will be reviewing this graphics card in the very near future. And the final graphics card is the RTX 5090 Master 32 gigabyte. Which of these do we think Dominic will be reviewing in the very near future? Clearly one of the 5090s from Aorus, the Master or the Gaming OC. Place your bets in the comments below this video. 50 series graphics laptops, for some reason, turned off. Okay, what can I do? So this is the Aero X16 powered by Intel. 50 series and it doesn't give us any clue about which graphics or which processor huh okay intel hx so it's the new arrow lake but whether it's a baby or whether it's a big boy don't know and then the graphics maximum 85 watts so that is a thinner light chassis and it's quite clear the hardware inside it is going to be spec down to suit the cooling system aurus elite 16 again intel hx and again, RTX 50 series. Do we have a TGP on there? Oh, there we go. Up to 230 watts of cooling. In other words, I would expect that might well support 5080 graphics. Whether it does 5090, nah, not so sure. Aorus Master 16, very similar. Up to 230 watts, 50 series and Intel HX. But happily, we have the screen operating so we can see a bit more. And there we see. 5090 so 230 watts includes 5090 16 inch screen 2560 by 1600 and a one terabyte nvme ssd last of the line the master 18 so much the same hardware but a bigger chassis curiously the bigger chassis has an rtx 5080 gpu again 2560 by 1600 and this is the full-on Core Ultra 9285HX. And we're signing off in front of some of Gigabyte's previous glories with the Taiwan Excellence Award. This is Kick Guru with Gigabyte at CES 2025. We're on TikTok and it's kickguru.net on the web.